Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at, uh, by request, uh, I'm taking a look at the new Emma Buntus Debian edition. Now, uh, I'm not familiar with Emma Buntus. I did take a look at their prior release, which was based upon Ubuntu. But they this particular release is based on Debian Jesse 8.3. The download that's available right now is based upon the Debian um, DVD download, which is about three and a half gigabytes of uh, data programs. So it has just about every software program that you could ever want. Now, it appears that they have uh, set this up to be A, all-inclusive, and B, uh, trying to get that Mac OS X look. Now, <clears throat> when you uh, go through the install, it is a typical Debian install, so that means that it's not as easy as Ubuntu, uh, and not as difficult as architect um, and so it's somewhere in between you need to know a little bit about your system but the the intermediate uh, I, I, I hesitate to, to say intermediate because I do believe a new user could get through it with a little bit of help um, it's not quite as difficult as and difficult is relative, but it's not quite as difficult as like, let's say architect installer. Now the architect installer is meant to simplify Arch and it does, but it's certainly not for someone who has never used Linux. So uh, keep that in mind. This is a Debian install. It's a graphical install but, and, but you, you have to answer a few more questions than in a uh, simplified Ubuntu install. So um, if, you're, if you're okay installing Debian, then you'll have no issues at all with this. The, the install process is exactly the same as if you were to download Debian from the Debian website. The graphical installation process is the same. Now, um, this is the default wallpaper I just kind of took there are a lot of um, there are a lot of desktop wallpapers available um, in various uh, resolutions as you can see here's one 1024 by 768 and then above it 2000 by 1331 so there are a lot of varying uh, wallpapers with varying resolutions. So it's just a matter of picking one that you like. There are several others that I prefer, but I wanted to open the video <coughs> with this because it has a little bit of proprietary information and it is Emma Buntus after all. So let's take a look now if you go into it is xfce and if you go into the xfce menu you'll see what i mean now it's already set up with favorites now some of the names they've given to the um, software is a little bit unusual uh, for example in multimedia um, GUVC View is called GTK UVC Video Viewer. Kazam is called Screencast and Screenshot Tool. Uh, so you kind of got to sift through. Uh, and as you can see, it, just in the multimedia category alone, you can see that everything is available all the way up to Tux Guitar. So as I said, it's a three and a half gigabyte install. But everything is available. I mean, there's not much. Now, I did have to go and install um, GUVC View. 
uh, because it was not available in the multimedia category. And so, but everything else from soup to nuts is available. Just the office category, lots of software, lots and lots and lots of software. So I'm not going to go through all of it, but you get, you get the drift. You can see for games, uh, a variety of games for graphics, a variety of photo um, applications, image viewer, photo editor, image editor, that's a GIMP. Um, so everything you can think of is available. Now it is typical XFCE, so if you're comfortable with XFCE, you should have no issues at all. Now where uh, M Ubuntu gets a little bit different is down at the dock. This dock is standard. It is default. It's available to you right out of the box. Not only does it have um, software in the dock, but the software packages represent categories. So if, for example, I go down to communication. You can see all of the various applications available and then it's just a matter of picking the one that you want. Uh, so you got communication, <clears throat> excuse me, office, audio, video, photo, CD burning, DVD burning, interests. So play on Linux is there. Education, utilities, maintenance, accessibility, help, workspaces, show desktop, Applications menu, shortcuts to your devices, log out, trash bin, and running programs. So as you can see, uh, everything is there for you. Uh, there's not much you would have to install. And so <clears throat> that's good for the new user because it eliminates the need for them to have to start immediately going in and trying to download packages that um, and they might not be familiar with the process. Now Kazam and GUVC view worked wonderfully right out of the box. You can see the uh, icon in my system tray for Kazam. It's telling me that there's an update. 25 software updates available. 24 of them are important. This runs off the um, Debian updates. We've got a volume a computer, which is basically battery operated devices. And then you've got power manager settings, network connections. So everything is available. Uh, it in installed without a hitch. It took a while because of the amount of programs available, but uh, it installed without a hitch. It started with no problem at all. Um, very nice. I prefer Debian-based distributions over Ubuntu. Um, I think Debian has an edge on stability, <clears throat> uh, but that's me uh, talking. Uh, the new user may prefer Ubuntu only because the install is a little bit easier and package management is a little bit easier. So that is it for uh, Ubuntu, M Ubuntu, Debian edition, uh, based on Debian 8.3 Jesse. It is the stable version and they incorporate the XFCE desktop out of the box along with a full-featured dock that is reminiscent of Mac OS X. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for stopping by. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.